Hi, Miss Garvin. Um, I'm interviewing my dad here, a uh, Vinny companion, about my Nana and Nana's experience of immigrating to America. Okay. Um, what country was Nana and Nana originally from? They were from Sicily, which is the lower part of Italy. So, but do you know what, what city you're in? Uh, right near the city of Palermo. And um, uh, when, when did they first come over here? Well, how, when was Nana born? 1931. And Nana was born in? 1932. And what, how old was Nana though when he came here? They were about, um, they were in their 20s. But did, okay, so then they roughly came over, I guess, around like 1955. Sounds about right. All right, so what was their main point for leaving Sicily? Well, I think they wanted to better better their <laughs> lives um, because it was kind of rough times in Sicily. There was uh, The economy was terrible, and uh, they felt that they should... Um, try to uh, see what they can, what kind of opportunities they had in America. Okay, all right. Well, yeah, I know a lot of people during that time period were all immigrating for the same reasons because their countries were in poverty and a, that was a big issue for them, you know? So, like, uh, America was supposed to be this land of opportunity and stuff, so a lot of people were coming here for, like, about the same reason, you know? Yeah. Europe, Europe at that time was a lot of, like, Especially, yeah, around uh, in Italy and stuff. But um, what were would Nana Nano talk about how Sicily was the time that they like what their state was actually like when they left? Well, it was a little depressed. Um, there was no work. Um, it was just um, the times <laughs> weren't that great, so they just wanted to come here and see what they can uh, find. They had some relatives here already, so they heard that it was, uh, you know, a good good place to live. So they decided to pack their bags. Um, who did Nano come over with? I believe a friend of his, but I'm not sure who really? it was. Yes. So he didn't come over with his family. No, and he was who? the only one who came over. Wow. And well, yeah, today still no one really besides you know to, to her sister. Yeah, his sister came by, by uh, came over later on. Yeah. Um. Who came over with Nana, though? With Nono? I'm not sure exactly, but um, her sister was here, and her dad was here. Okay. He came over a couple years uh, earlier. But you, her mom never came over? No, she had passed away when they were young. Oh, really? Yes. So you never met your grandma? No. So, you know, like... W was it hard for Nana and Nano to say goodbye to their family living over there? Oh, I'm sure. Would they, I'm sure like, it's very they hard. ever complain about how they wanted to go back, or like when you, as you growing up with them, would they ever talk about, well, one day we're gonna go back to Italy, like? Um, not really. We did go. We did visit a few times. Yeah. Um, but um, I think they were they started getting comfortable here. Mhm. Mm um, things were you know moving along. Yeah. Um, you know, they, they married, no, 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 and, um, everything was okay. How did, would Nona ever talk about how, or no, no, <clears throat> ever talk about what, all the, like, effort that they had to put into before they came here, like, would they ever talk about how they had to prepare for their trip, like, was, like, uh, everything, like, just the experience all together? Um... Well, they didn't bring too much over. Uh, maybe a bag. They had no money coming over here, so um, they just basically came over here and found work right away to, to start their lives. That's good, though. And what what like what were their original jobs? Even grow when you were growing up, what did they do? Well, I think when my dad first came over here, he was probably working in uh, maybe washing dishes, and he started doing some construction work. Um, yeah. Jobs like that, yeah. you know. Um, no, no, she started, She was a seamstress, so she would work, uh, you know, working with garments, yeah. things like that, putting stuff together with that. Um, but basically, she was uh, a homemaker. Hmm. She never drove. No, no, never drove. Yeah. And um, no, no, still driving. <laughs> no, no, still driving, yes. <laughs> but be careful if you see her drive away. Um, 
but uh, they made uh, a good life for themselves. Now, did did family from Italy often visit when you were growing up? With a couple times, I remember some of them coming, and then uh, just for like the summertime, maybe like a month, then they would so go sad. back. That's mm-hmm. good. Um, how did Nana and Nano actually come over here? Uh, pretty much, uh, they came on a ship. That's how they used to come from Italy here. They didn't have any money for a uh, uh, plane ticket. It was much cheaper to come over with a, uh, you know, over there, over the Atlantic Ocean. Hmm. Now, how long, roughly, do you think this trip took? Because I know from when we went to Italy, the the plane ride was eight eight and a half hours long, and that was that was terrible. But how long do you think, roughly, was it? On the boat. Probably maybe a day or two. Really? I would say a couple days. That's yes. crazy. Would Nana ever talk, or Nana, sorry, ever talk about how that was, like how long and annoying that ever was? Actually, no, they never mentioned that. They never I guess they probably that. tried to just forget about it. True, because they were coming here, a great, a great land, you know? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Um, now, do you know... Why did they choose the United States specifically? Like, I know you mentioned, I know you mentioned that it was like everyone wanted to come here at the time because it was supposed to be this new land. But was there any other reason besides besides that and like family? They just liked it. Well, they didn't really know what they were getting themselves into. I mean, sure. the first time they were coming here, they didn't really know what to expect. But <clears throat> yeah. I guess um, they had some relatives here, and I guess they said it was okay, so that's why they uh, came. Um, what what kind of like housing kind of, like did they move into when they got here? Like, well, they found some apartments in the yeah. beginning, right? Until they kind of established themselves and got some, you know, got better jobs, yeah, and um, were able to afford a home. Well, where did Nono go when he first came? Like, where did he go? Nono no landed in Brooklyn. He lived there for, I think, a couple of years. Yeah. Uh, Nona landed in Lodi, which wow. that's where I grew up. That's funny. <laughs> and um, they ultimately lived in Lodi. Yeah. Basically. My, Nono still lives in Lodi, yes. <laughs> that's funny. And all, because the family lives there too, you know. Yes, a lot of family in Lodi, yes. So convenience for them. Now, was it easy for Nona and Nono to decide to come over here, or was it kind of kind of a hard decision because of what they were leaving behind? Um, I think um, they sort of had no choice. I don't think really um, things were so good in Italy when they were there. But I think they had kind of like no choice but to leave and try to start something new. Yeah. Ah, sorry, my back. Um, yeah, that. That's true. It was probably a lot better for them to come over here. It made a very big impact. Now, how hard was it, would Nana and Nano say, how how it was to adjust to like this new life? Well, it was very hard because uh, they didn't speak the language. Yeah. Um, but luckily, there was a lot of people around that spoke Italian, so they were able to get by. Yeah. Um, but, um, you know, Nono still speaks very broken English. I still speak Italian to him when I see him. Um, so, you know, it was difficult, but I'm sure it was very scary. But they did, uh, they, they worked hard and uh, didn't complain. Good. And uh, just kept going and uh, made a life for themselves. Awesome. Now, for you, too, because uh, you grew up speaking a different language and had to convert. And yes, I, when I went to kindergarten, I didn't really speak English. I had to learn in school. How hard was that for you? It was pretty hard. Yeah. Yeah. And like now, I'm taking Italian, so like I know how hard it is to try to learn that, and the English language is it's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. English yeah. language is very hard to learn. Yeah, I know. So, yeah, now you speak, you know, pretty well. I should hope so. I'm just kidding. Um, <clears throat> would Nana or Nano ever complain about how they were treated when they came over here? Because a, a lot of times, a lot, a lot of them faced issues of people not wanting them here or didn't like the idea of immigrants coming over. But would any of them, they never complained? No, because basically the areas where they came to 
was very Italian. Yeah. So. <clears throat> It was easier for them. It was much easier, yes. People accepted them right away. Yeah. Now, how, how, besides the language and the, the lifestyle, because I know the lifestyle in Italy is very simple and, and happy, you know. <laughs> happy? Well, I, it seemed to be just more simple, you know? Yes. I agree with that. Um... From when we went, also, that was a big difference. I noticed that everything was more laid back and better. But <clears throat> were either one of them, you think, upset that that was now a lot different? Because a lot of people now had to work more and there was less time off. And you think that, that was something they really didn't like about America? Well, probably, but... They had to do it. They had to do it. They had yeah. no choice. They had to make it work. Right. Um, <clears throat> what were, what were some of, from, okay, so for the times that you've gone to Italy too, I, we went once, but now of course I remember it still, but what were, what were some of the biggest differences you think as a child that you noticed when you went, went there and then came back that probably were the customs that Nana and Nana were so used to, but you know, what, what seemed to really stand out to you when you went, or do you not remember that that much? Um, I would say the, um. <clears throat> Just the town was very old, yeah. and just the way they lived. Um, basically, like the food, <laughs> they would always cook something. Yeah. They wouldn't go out to eat, or there was no fast food. No, um, that's things a lot like different that. than America. Right, there's fast food everywhere here. <laughs> yeah, that's why we're all fat. Um, <laughs> what else? Um, well, it was beautiful when we went. I think there was a lot more natural beauty and. It was just nice, you know? It's, mm -hmm. it's very different because here it's more city-like, which is also, it's not bad, but Right, it's just, well, there's city areas in Italy too, but... But down where they were from, it was very old town. Mm -hmm. It was beautiful. Though. They just took it easy. They had, um, especially in the summertime, it's very laxed. Yeah. Uh, people take uh, a couple hours off in the afternoon to, you know, take naps and relax. <laughs> I remember that when we went. Mm -hmm. <laughs> remember that? That's such a... We have that picture still. Of them it's not all like sleeping. a rat race like here. No. no not even a comparison. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so overall, though, do you think Nono and Nono were very, very pleased by the, the decision that they made? I think so. Yeah, right? I think so, because, like I said, Italy was very depressed. It still is. And um, came here. They met each other, got married, had kids... Um, had him, had me, <laughs> eventually Lau. had you yeah. as their grandchild, which they love, and um, so yeah, I can't see them complaining about anything. Yeah. Now, yeah. just on a on a kind of a different note, um, although both of them were very young, for like you know when the war broke out and stuff, would they ever? Would just wondering, would they ever like talk about that? Like, did they ever have any memories of that? Because if, if Nana was born in 1931, the war ended. She, she was about 14 when it ended. So it Yeah, no, like, they definitely they saw the uh, planes coming overhead and they heard the bombs going wow. off. That's crazy. So, yeah, they used to find parachutes, parachute That's remains. That's so weird. Um, around, um, I believe that was World War II that yeah, they it was uh, World War II. experienced. Well, yeah, so, World War One ended a long time before they were But, born. um,. But they had to deal with the Mussolini. He was he was a dictator back then. That's so weird, you know. Mm -hmm. That's like that's like what we we learn. Like that's just that's crazy. Mm -hmm. You know, it makes me wonder. Like when I am when I have a family and stuff, what what kind of history I can tell them? Because I know <clears throat> a lot's not going on right now, but like I'll be able to tell them some. Some memory from like nine eleven or like when they just killed Bin Laden. Like I, I could be like, you know, oh, I was right. Mm -hmm. just, that's funny. It's interesting to think about. Mm -hmm. But um, that's great. You know, if if it wasn't for them moving here, none of this would be possible. Right. That is, that's inc it's incredible. But um, and they ended up pretty well for coming over in poverty and stuff. That it was very well. They turned out awesome. Yeah. No, they had a good life. Simple but good. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. I think, um, yeah, they uh, they enjoyed it, and uh, that's it. It was good. Good for them. Very awesome. All right. Well, um, it was nice to learn, Dad, about you know your life going up there. Is it's really good knowledge. Like that's I think the best kind of history. It's your own. Right you know? now, everybody knows it. Yeah. Now it's public everybody knowledge. Everybody knows it. <laughs> but <clears throat> just don't put this on Facebook. I'm not gonna put this on Facebook. Okay. Why? You don't look good. You don't think you look good. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, thanks. Okay. Okay. Goodbye. Ciao. Ciao.